Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marina, I'm Russian and I live with my family in Moscow. And today I wanted to answer one question. Is it called in Russian homes? Well, and the answer is no. Actually, it is pretty warm and sometimes in some of the apartments it might even be hot. Uh, why is it like this? Well, let's find out more. <laughs> uh, the thing is that uh, most of the people that live in cities, they live in apartment buildings, so they live in apartments. And in apartments, in all Russian apartments, we have central heating system installed. So what do I mean when I say central heating system? I mean that we have uh, tubes with hot water that go from uh, the top floor to the bottom floor and um, those tubes are connected to um, radiators or shall I call them batteries um, and fill them with hot water. So usually such radiators are situated somewhere near the window or closer to the window because usually the wall that has a window is the coldest in the apartment. So uh, this uh, whole thing looks like this. Let me show you first. Now we are in my bedroom. Um, this is my window and here is this heating system. That's how it looks like. Now this is the main thing that uh, gives us heat and um, that's how it is working. Like we have uh, we have a tube like a pipe or how you call it, call it any way you like that goes up here and it actually goes through the whole building up to the first floor, like from the first floor to the highest floor my kitchen and uh, this thing is also under the window oh, that's my dog, <laughs> sorry for the sound here um, this whole thing is a little bit smaller and but it looks the same it's a bit old and kind of rusty and he has the same thing here two tubes that look like this <laughs> now these are my kids as you can see they're walking home in uh, t-shirts and sports pants so it is really quite warm here's this thing in children's room yeah this is the biggest room in our apartment so it has a larger this heating uh, radiator how do you call this yeah and also two tubes going up and down okay, so um, the heating uh, the heating season in Russia begins uh, somewhere in the beginning of October and it ends uh, somewhere in um, in April actually uh, we do not have special dates when um, the system is turned on or switched off. Uh, it depends on the weather conditions that we have. Uh, usually it starts functioning, like uh, it starts flowing hot water uh, when uh, the average temperature outside uh, falls uh, below 8 degrees Celsius above zero for more than five days. So when that happens, the system is turned on. It starts heating up. <laughs> and it is switched off um, when the average temperature becomes um, higher than eight degrees Celsius for more than five consecutive days. So it's like this, it works like this. Um, and uh, one thing that I have to mention that in hospitals, in schools, in kindergartens, and in children's centers, uh, and, and also in those uh, houses for elderly people, uh, the heating is usually turned on earlier than in the rest of the apartment buildings, and it is switched off later. So it works like this. As for our expenses for this whole heating system that we have, um, here I have a bill that we have received uh, this month. Now we have February. Here, 
February, the second month of the year. Um, so this is um, this is our payment for the previous month for January. Uh, now here's the position that uh, shows um, shows uh, what we have to pay for the heating. Now the one that is below, uh, and that's the amount. 1,376 rubles. Now I will write how much that is in dollars and in euros, of course. And see for yourselves, uh, is it expensive or is it not? Is it too much or is it okay? Um, of course, like any other system, this one does has its minuses. <laughs> well, one of the minuses that you cannot control the temperature that you have in your apartment. Um, here I have to say that usually like the temperature inside is somewhere uh, between uh, 24 degrees Celsius above zero and up to 26 degrees Celsius. Um, so actually that is pretty comfortable, but if for some reason um, you think that the temperature in your place is lower than you would want it to be. Uh, you can do you like you cannot you cannot make your radiators hotter or colder. Uh, they are just the way they are. Of course, there are additional things that you might use to improve the situation if it doesn't suit you. Like you can install an air conditioner, or you can buy. Uh, portable electric radiators that you can just switch to the electricity and they will start working and heating the place up if the heat is not sufficient enough for you. Okay, one more second minus that I can um, think about is uh, that sometimes in autumn we have really cold nights and at the same time we have pretty warm days. So it causes a situation when your apartment gradually starts to freeze out uh, and the overall temperature, like the average temperature outside uh, doesn't actually fall below 8 degrees Celsius, but you feel that inside your apartment it is already very cold. So that, that's, uh, that's the minus. You cannot switch on your heating system when it's already cold inside your apartment but it usually this is usually a problem that lasts for um for not more than a week so you just have to live through this cold week and yeah here uh we usually use those <laughs> portable radiators or like portable fans that heat up your place where we turn on the air conditioning or the hot air so that's how we solve this problem. Um, what else? Like what other minus can I mention? <laughs> uh, that like, like any other system, any other heating system, this one dries the air a lot. So during the winter time, during this um, uh, heating season, uh, the air in Russian apartments is really dry. So usually we are using air moisturizers uh, to kind of improve the situation. A minus that I also have to mention is that it looks ugly. Like, I think it looks ugly. <laughs> I think that having a tube uh, coming out of your ceiling, from your ceiling, going down is not really nice. Like, it's good if you're lucky enough and you can cover it with a curtain or with something else or with some furniture. Oh, but when you don't have such a possibility, well, it does look ugly. And uh, the radiators themselves uh, might uh, might actually irritate you sometimes. And I know that some of the people, uh, they are covering their radiators with uh, special covers that looks like, uh, they look like uh, boxes with little holes in them. So you have, you actually do have the possibility to do something to kind of hide this whole thing to make it look nicer, but um, well, again, it depends on the apartment. I've been to one apartment where I was uh, I was shocked to see the tube going right in the middle of the wall. So that looked.
pretty strange and I realized that there were there were no ways to actually cover it with anything okay but that's just that's just minor thing uh, that doesn't really affect much <laughs> doesn't really affect your life so much okay, speaking about the pluses speaking about the pluses um, first of all the big plus is that I don't have to think about heating my place like I don't have to control the temperature you know check whether everything is going well um, I just I don't think about heating my place at all and moreover I think that the temperature that I have inside my place is pretty comfortable and I'm not afraid to open my windows to let some fresh air in during the winter time like I'm doing that pretty often almost a few times during the day and I'm not afraid that my place will freeze out well a second plus uh, please don't laugh <laughs> but the second plus is that I'm sometimes drying the things that I washed <laughs> my wet things like the clothes and stuff on the radiators it's pretty convenient you know especially considering uh, the fact that sometimes I come back home and my hat and my coat and my gloves are wet because of the snow um, and especially that's a problem with my kids because when they play in snow um, they come back home with their clothes wet so I just take those and put them on the radiators and everything is dry in 10 minutes really convenient sometimes yeah and one more thing, <laughs> a thing that would probably surprise you. Whenever your neighbors are loud, like too loud, if they have guests or they have a party or whatever, or they have a, a fight or scandal or something, um, you can always use your radiator. You can always use your tubes. <laughs> you just have to take something and heat your radiators with that thing. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it helps, it helps. I mean, that's the way how neighbors communicate sometimes in Russian apartments. Well, okay. Um, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I hope the information in my video was interesting and uh, useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and see you in my following videos. Bye.